Royal Caribbean currently accepts one at-home COVID test to try. What's it like and how easy or difficult is it? I've got a look at what you need to know about taking the at-home test up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Ever since Royal Caribbean approved the Abbott Binax Now COVID-19 AG card test, it has been a revelation. I've used it many times before going on a Royal Caribbean cruise, and it has been such an easy way to get your pre-cruise COVID test done quickly and easily. And that really are the two key words, quickly and easily, because you get COVID tests in a lot of places around the country or wherever you happen to live. But the reality is that getting an appointment, especially now with different variants happening, it's very difficult. And the turnaround for getting results in time can also be a challenge. So the at-home tests are truly simple. And today I wanted to walk you through what it's like to do the at-home test because these at-home tests are really easy, but I think a lot of people have a little bit of trepidation because they don't want to screw something up, but I'm here to tell you it is super easy. As you may be aware, Royal Caribbean requires all passengers to bring a negative COVID-19 test result to the cruise terminal regardless of your vaccination status. This test must be taken no more than two days prior to sailing for vaccinated passengers and must be arranged at the guest's own expense with an accredited test provider. Now, depending on where you live and other factors, Getting a test appointment is no simple task, and being able to conduct a test at home is a convenient alternative to going to the pharmacy. So how well do these tests work, and how long does it take? Many people really wanted to know, so I wanted to try it out for you here on this video. Before we get started, you should know that Royal Caribbean accepts the Abbott Binax Now COVID-19 AG card home test because it is supervised and administered remotely via video session. There are similar tests that are sold in pharmacies, but these are not video sessions and do not count, by the way. You can purchase these tests online via emed.com. Royal Caribbean sells this also on their own, but it's actually through a third party called Optum. It doesn't matter. It's the same exact test. Just make sure you're buying them the right ones, and that way they can be prescribed to you and sent pretty quickly. In fact, when I buy them from emed.com, they're overnight shipped as part of the cost. It's a really good idea to have more than one test in case there's an inconclusive test result, as well as have additional test kits for other family members. You're going to need one test kit per person doing the test. Now, according to the company, the shelf life has been extended for the Binax Now Home Test, but again, make sure you look at when these tests will expire before ordering them. My advice is order a test one to two months before your cruise is scheduled to go, so that way they're not going to expire on the shelf for you. This particular at-home test requires a prescription, which can be obtained when you fill out the form online during the ordering process. First and foremost, when you get the test, be very certain not to open the box until instructed to do so during the video call. Once you're ready to take the test, you just sign up for an account on emed.com website and then click the link to start a test. One great thing about these at-home tests is they're available 24-7, 365 days a year, and the wait to get the test started is usually a matter of seconds, not a very long wait at all. So I really don't think you'll have much of a wait to get started. You're going to need to move the camera around quite a bit, and having a mobile device, I think, is a little bit easier than maybe using a webcam or your laptop, but either way, whatever works for you. During the test, the proctor will ask you to show yourself, identification, and the test itself. Often, they need to see what you're doing, whatever it is you're being directed to do, so being able to easily move the camera is important. After verifying the test is intact, you'll be directed to add a few drops of the test solution to the test card and then swab your nose. You'll be directed to swab both nostrils five times. The swab needs to only go in about a half an inch or three quarters of an inch in there, so no brain tickler test required, and there really was no discomfort every single time I've done it. And a lot of people are always worried about that, but it was really easy. You're just swabbing the bottom of your nose. After you swab both nostrils, you place the swab into the test card and then wait 15 minutes for the results. Now, during this 15 minutes while the test is processing, no, you're not sitting there talking awkwardly with the proctor. The proctor will usually say, okay, we're going to call you back, put you on hold now, but we'll call you back when the test results are ready, and then they'll come back to it. The good news is you can walk away, you can do some laundry, you can eat some food, you can watch some TV. You just need to be nearby, so that way when the 15 minutes is up, the proctor is going to come back on the line and say, you know, hello, and you're there to answer it. The way the test actually works is pretty easy. The test card has a spot for two lines. One line means you're negative. Two lines means you're positive. After 15 minutes, you or the proctor will look over the results and confirm the outcome. Results are available instantly via email as well as through the Navica app. The Navica app is the name of the app that is used to record all your results, which is really nice if you're looking to do multiple tests. You have all those results in the app. There is also a QR code provided to be shared via text, email, and other methods. This is how you can print out the results to bring to your cruise. 
The test can be used on children as young as four years old as long as they are fully vaccinated. That's the requirement for Royal Caribbean. Now, having done an antigen test at a local pharmacy and now at home, the experience to me is pretty much the same. At the CVS, the nurse had me swap my own nose as well, so it's fundamentally the exact same process. Without a doubt, the home test is extremely convenient, and the fact you can buy a few to have on hand for future cruises or you know any potential exposure concerns in your everyday life is a really nice option. On top of that, your results come back in 15 minutes. One of the major concerns people have when it comes to doing their pre-cruise test is, will I get my results back in time? And the good news is the at-home test works really well and you're getting your results back 15 minutes after you take it. Now, of course, there is one issue with them and that is only available for fully vaccinated guests. So if you have unvaccinated kids who are going on your cruise, this will not work for them and you're still gonna have to get them a PCR test leading up to the cruise and that's a whole different issue altogether. But for anybody who's got vaccinated folks in their party, this is absolutely the way to go because it is super easy and simple. The at-home test can be as cheap as $25 per test. You usually have to buy multiple tests. And as I mentioned earlier, it's actually a really good idea to have extras just in case. The other good news, something to keep in mind if you're looking to plan a cruise into 2022, is President Joe Biden announced a couple of weeks ago that private health insurance plans will soon be able to reimburse people who buy at-home rapid tests for COVID-19. When will that go into effect? I'm not sure, but something to keep in mind, especially if you're watching this video a little later into 2022. You can also use a health savings account plan if you have one of those to offset the cost as well. I'm gonna tell you though from experience, if you've got a cruise coming up and you wanna do the at-home test, this is the easiest thing to do because it just makes the whole process simpler. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you've tried one of these at-home tests and your thoughts about it. I'm a big believer in them. I love them, but I'd love to hear your experience as well and any tips you might have for somebody who wants to take the at-home test themselves. Be sure to like this video down below, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications by hitting that little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that way YouTube lets you know when we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.